Today is the first day of my new after-school club. Hello, TechBots! Hey, where is everyone? We wanted to see more turtles in our school's habitat. How are we going to do that? What kinds of turtles? I'm holding a snapping turtle! And how many turtles were in the pond? You people have got the easy job! <laughs> this is working. There's a turtle right there. Next on Sci Girls. Funding for Sci Girls is provided by the following. The National Science Foundation, supporting education and research across all fields of science and engineering. The National Science Foundation, where discoveries begin. Math and science are everywhere. They're the building blocks of tomorrow. That's why ExxonMobil sponsors programs to get kids excited about math, science, engineering, and technology. So one day, they may become the scientists of the future. club members to see. Yeah, and here comes the problem, Jake. Jake? Uh, we're here, and this is gonna be off the hook! Hello, TechBots! Uh, hello? Hey, where is everyone? See? No one showed up to my club. The Gigabyte TechBots? Yeah, I'm not that surprised. People like clubs that sound fun. Oh, well, what clubs do you belong to? The Cheese Puff Cooking Club in the Frozen Tutus. They were all must-joins. <laughs> oh, understanding why all those were must-joins for you, Jake, could take a lifetime. Oh, but right now, I just have to figure out how to make my club a must-join. May I suggest starting with a Cheese Puff appetizer? Sigh, <sighs> Sigh, girls! I need you! kids to want to come to my club. But how? Uh, mm. Oh, trapping them. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, well, maybe not. I'm Annie. This is Maddie. This is Elena. This is Kate. We're Blaze! Come, we gotta look for birds. Keep your eyes peeled for house finches. Blaze is the nature club I started specifically for the school. We go to Trinity School in Egan, Minnesota. Mallard, good spotting! What is Blaze? Becoming! Loyal and zealous explorers! We learn a lot about each other from discovering the natural things around us. Oh, I wonder if there's any other turtles here. We wanted to see more turtles in our school's habitat, but we just weren't seeing any. Two more minutes! Turtles bask in the sun to store up their body heat. Well, there aren't very many places for a turtle to bask in our ponds. We wanted to learn what we could do about the population. We decided to build a basking turtle platform so the turtles would have a little bit of variety in where they basked. We also wanted to know what kinds of turtles and how many turtles were in the pond. That is kind of complicated. Our teacher, Miss Adams, told us that the pond was a protected wetland. Long story short, um, Egan would not want us to put anything man-made in this, in this pond. Wetlands are protected because there aren't very many there. Miss Adams also said that we would have to present our ideas to the school so that they could present them to the city to see if we can get the basking platform in. How are we going to do that? You know, it's like 
Aren't we too young to do that? It's a lot harder than just going on the internet and Googling turtles because that doesn't tell you why there's no turtles in your pond. Or why there are no tech bots in my club. We checked out turtle habitats in Minnesota. Yeah. Let's go to the south because that might be easier. And we found somebody named Jamie and we found out that she was a DNR non-game wildlife specialist, which means she takes care of the animals that we can't hunt. Dear Miss Edwards, capitalize the D. It's always fun. It's fine. We asked her if we could come down and visit, and she replied and she said yes. Yeah, go Blaze, go Psy Girls. We went down to Weaver Dunes, which is a wildlife preserve in southern Minnesota. I can hardly wait to just explore a little bit. I think that's Miss Jamie Edwards. Let's go. I think that's Jamie. We're the Sagros team. Well, it's nice to meet you. Welcome to Weaver yeah. Dunes. Thank you. Yeah. This is so beautiful. Yeah. yeah, it's a beautiful sand prairie in southeast Minnesota. Well, hopefully, we'll see all eight species of turtles that we have down here. So, what's in the bucket? <laughs> We've got some turtles. We're going to work on. Oh my gosh, that. that's so cool. That was the first time we had actually held a turtle. I'm scared. This is a Blanding's turtle. Oh, he's not as bad. When I'm holding a turtle, it feels like I'm holding a dinosaur from like five million years ago. Yep, <laughs> yep, you got it. You think you have a claw issue? This is a soft shell turtle, so you can see there. so weird. Um, if you flip the turtles over, he doesn't have much shell. So you see the difference? This guy can totally hide in a shell if he wants to, and this guy can't. He looks like equipped for water. Yeah, look at the difference. That guy's naked. Turtles scare me a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. It's just a little nerve wracking that you're holding something that could kick you and bite you and scratch you. There's a, what we call the hinge is where the two shells come together. Um, that is not where you want to grab a snapping turtle. They can reach around and grab you. So you want to grab them at the back of the shell. Okay, duly noted. Do we have to touch the snapping turtle? And, uh, oh, snap. Yeah, so they, and this guy could really reach around and, and bite if he wants to. Watch it! That's why I'm staying back here! You're just like, oh my gosh, a snapper. Is it gonna bite our fingers off? Turtle population study is very important. When you're doing a population study, you know how many turtles are in the pond, the variety of species, the variety of ages, the variety of genders. If you're just working with one turtle, you get one evidence of data, and that's not enough. We measure the turtles using a caliper. We want to measure how long the carapace is. The carapace is the uh, top of the shell. 9.6. It's kind of the dome of the shell. And we're going to measure the plastron. If you flip the turtle over, I like the bottom of their shell, that's the plastron. Found it. Ah, oh, uh, oh, he bit me. He did? Uh, uh. Medic! They do that? Weighing the turtle was really, really hard. You can't move your hand and the turtle can't move. Okay, so buddy here, 7.2. Then we can determine growth um, if you're following these turtles over time. You kind of age a turtle just like age a tree. Every time they grow, they get another ring on them. I was amazed that many of the turtles we were studying were older than me. 17, 18, it's at least 18 years old. Guys, the starting line is here, go. And they're off. You always get the impression that, you know, slow and steady wins the race, but they're fast. Pew. Hi, I'm Annie. Here's my garden. Isn't that cute? That's all that le that's left of my carrot. So this is my art. I'm not very good with my hands, so it's bad. I have a blue macaws feather. And this is my tree house. Bye. We're gonna bait these traps right here. We were setting the traps for the population study. We're poking holes in these bags so that we can uh, put bait in them so that the, the juice and the scent comes out so that the turtles will come after it. Yum, dinner! Ew. It smells like rotten fish. I'm holding my nose. Just go like this. <laughs> oh, good idea, and then the sand will stick Every good biologist washes their hand with the dirt. <laughs> this is prime turtle spots, guys. How you doing? This is really difficult. This is the hard bottom. <laughs> this is the hard bottom? It felt like a huge weight every time you tried to lift up your leg. This is awesome, guys. I mean, come on. Would you not trade this experience for the world? I've never been... <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
I've never been in a pond with waders on. I only got my sleeve wet. <laughs> so we got this trap set. Um, we got it hooked, got it anchored so it can't float off. And then uh, we got the, the opening end submerged and I just it's just barely sitting on the bottom. We set the traps overnight because turtles actually happen to feed during the night. And that's probably why we don't see giant snappers coming up and eating all the fish they see during the day. You need time. Science takes time. Um, we probably won't catch any snappers in here, um, not this Are type of snappers? trap. Uh, they're, they're, it's possible, but it's probably probably not quite in this pond. And we, we won't catch snappers in this type of trap anyway. It's, uh, it, the opening's not big enough for them. I've gotten past my fear of reaching my hand in the water. <laughs> you're, doing, you're doing the crazy wetland dance. <laughs> trying to get you. Dance. Yeah. Dude, and then there's a side singer and back The wetland dance. gets stuck dance. <laughs> I've canoed on a river before, but I never thought I would ever canoe on the Mississippi River because it's just so huge. So Jamie, tell us about how you got started with reptiles. In Minnesota, I've been here for nine years. And in all honesty, when I was in school, I was really shy and wanted to work with animals. But I didn't think I wanted to be a vet. And the diversity of the job, getting to do a lot of fun things so you don't get bored. That's awesome. What turtles do you think we're going to see today? Most common turtle we'll probably run into will be turtle. the map species. In there. You see it, uh, those, these sticks, they aren't even that big, but the, the, the turtles are sitting up on those logs. Sweet. That's an idea for our turtle island. We got a turtle up here. Whoa. You see the turtle? No. Right there. Where? Where? Right behind this clump of grass. Oh, wow. Is Can we pick her up and see what kind? Well, let's see what she's doing first. Oh, she looks like a map. She was a map turtle. Good. I do not feel any eggs in her. So she was here. We'll see if we can find a trail here. Covered over is that stand hills. Yeah. Oh, right there. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Oh, yeah. I feel something. <gasps> Wait, Kate. There's an egg. egg. All right, you guys. Good yep, job. there it is. A turtle good nest. Job. Oh, there's a couple. Oh my gosh, we found a turtle nest. It wasn't Jamie, it was us. And we're just so excited. We will uncover this nest. We need to put them back in the same spot that, that we found. We can't flip them over or we'll drown that embryo in its own fluids. Yeah. Yeah, so these are it's map awesome. turtle eggs, and I'm guessing it's from this, this female that we just found here. So, I yeah. held an egg. And it was just like softer than you would imagine. I mean, when you look at the fragments from raided nests, it's really brittle, but it really wasn't. It was soft and you could make a little dent in it. So what, if they're out, outside of underground, is this hurting them? You wouldn't want to do this with every nest that you run into, but for, you know, for learning purposes, it's, it's you know, interesting to see a nest and see the eggs and see how many are in this. Could we put them, put her near the water? Sure, if you want to, you can actually release her in the water if you want. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do, do that. that. My name is Elena. I'm 13 years old. My favorite things to do are playing outside, camping, and Irish dancing. These are the hard shoes in Irish dancing. And what makes the amazing noise is the fiberglass. This is my little sister, Jody. Some fossils that we found on our nature club. I love listening to music. Day in, day out. Adios. Adios, Elena. We're going to go and check the traps that we set yesterday. I don't want to pull it up in case it's a snapper. Oh, I don't think a snapper's going to get in this trap. You guys ready? Okay. Uh, you going to help me? No. no. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, look it. Woo. Wow. Oh, wow. Woo. Six, six trap like turtles. That. I can't even get that many tech bots to come to my club. Oh, what? six harmless little turtles, blanding some painted. Yeah, there go all my fears. Oh, well, what do you think about this one? I'm seeing some activity Me around too. that. So was I. Well, I think you girls all need to pull this trap up. Don't worry, guys. I'm not afraid to stick my hand under. <gasps> I see a turtle head. I started feeling along the edge of the trap, and I was kind of worried about the turtles trying to bite me, even if they were painted, because Maddie said it hurts. So I grab it, and me and Jamie pulled it up. Thank you. Mm -hmm. oh, oh my gosh. Snapper, 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 snapper. That's not It's a snapper. It's got a big tail. It's in a big tail. You are now professionals. Oh my gosh. I am not I don't know. I 
Yeah. See you later. My See, my day's up. I'm I'm, I'm gone. Right, well, now we know what we're standing in. We know these things are right. Yikes! <laughs> hey guys, swear I would have never thought we'd have caught snappers in these things. Here, can I? Can I? Well, now that we've caught some turtles, what what you would do is is uh, take them back and and measure them and t and take all the data that we learned how to do. So so when you're doing your research, that's what you'll do. Is all right. I'm trying to get this snapping turtle out. If I had an assistant, this might go a little faster. I can't move my leg. Help me. You're Whoa, watch the mouth. Watch the mouth. All right. He's in the water. He's swimming. And he's going to. Ah! <laughs> I was so scared when we found those two snapping turtles. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming down to Weaver Dew, and I hope you learned a lot, and I hope you can take this back with you and apply it um, back home. So. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Woo! All right. Yeah. We've got lots of turtles today. All right. Hey, let's go visit the website. Push the button. Push, push the button. Girls, girls, girls. Hey, let's go to the Side Girls website and work on our Blaze page. Yeah, I kind of wanted to download some of the pictures I took on that camera. All right. Question number one. What gives you the creeps? Is it an insect, a scary movie, or C, or is it the dark? I'd say a scary movie. Let's check out Maddie's profile. Hi, my name is Maddie. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is my dog, Lindy. This is a picture of Lindy's mom, Lady. I mostly love drawing horses. This is a picture of a horseback rider. This drawing is just about done. This is another picture I did of two horses. Hi, see you later. All right, go. I can't see a thing. One, two, three, four. I think Jamie one, two, three, chose this place four. because the pond that we're using is similar to the pond at school. She suggested that we could try to trap turtles along with building a basking platform here and just trying it out so that we know how to do these things at our school. Okay, I'm doing the halibut, you're doing the salmon. This is so nasty. Oh, yeah. yeah, we definitely know what we're doing after learning with Jamie. Traps are baited and ready for turtles. <laughs> so it's finally time to try our own hands at catching turtles. Let's see how deep this water gets. Right, you got it? Yep. All right. That one's been close. That's not very smart. Let's I'll try see. and secure it right here on this nice little lip. All right. So there you guys are. We got a good trap for you, I think. Good spot. Sort of, sort That's of nice hanging off, but. You people and waiters got the easy job. I predict that we'll at least get one painted, one snapper, maybe two, hopefully not three. So now we need to come up with a um, design for our turtle island. I've got an idea. First, it starts out with a square. I, we need to saw this piece in half. Measure twice, cut once. Here. We're gonna use this for the actual platform. Here she comes! <laughs> Just to keep it nice and afloat on each side, could be a PVC pipe. Maddie, why don't we start setting up the PVC pipes? We want it tight enough so no water leaks in. There is a smallish hole, I would say, for the turtles to come up. Should it be circular? It's a triangle or square. How about we compromise and do a semicircle? I'm going to question the necessity of a hole. They could just yeah. jump off the side. My idea was that we take a board and we do a slant at one end into the water on hinges or something. How does hinge work? To make sure we have the hinges in the right place. How much fun I, ha I have the power. I see why they call them power tools. It's kind of ex almost exactly like we planned, except the ramp is much longer than we thought it would be. And then we have a branch hanging off one side. Maybe um, we shouldn't put the branch. If we put the branch, that might be a little bit too cumbersome. And I mean, we've got to build this well, today. Well, right. I don't think it would be that hard just to nail on a branch. I mean, me and Annie argue a lot, mostly about very, very dumb things. Um, I think that would be a really good idea to have a branch out. Yeah, I don't think we need kind of... another like add-on to that. Yeah. And I have the hardest time getting past the sticking a branch on. I was like, no, we do not need a branch, Kate. Stop it. Well, I think we should put that as another possibility. Well, I think we because, should just do it because well, the, we should. Can I just finish my it. talk? Can I just finish this first and then you can talk? It kind of dissolved, but then it kind of morphed into uh, Whoever can talk the loudest talks first. So we're going to test all three variables, which were logs, branches, and stones, and see which ones they like best. It's pretty frustrating listening to my friends arguing about something so small as a branch or a rock. The brainstorming session was one of our hardest sessions yet, because we've all got these different ideas and these different 
images in our head of what a basking platform should be. We weren't seeing it from anybody else's point of view. We were like, nope. But then Annie was like peacemaker of the century. I've got a compromise. Let's just build with these first, and then we can see, we can add on stuff. Eventually they came to a conclusion, and it turned out looking great, our platform. Yay! Whoa. Great! Do this thing! Everybody back up, back up, back up! What about that one? Which is that kind of... All right, are you tightening? I felt like I could do anything in the world that day. Are we ready for the ceremony? <laughs> On the law. Turtle Island. Woo! Woo! I think they'll like these two. Yeah, I think the logs are gonna be the most successful. I think this will because this is sort of hanging over the water, which I think they'll like. Hi, I'm Kate. This is my kitten and his name is Little Love. I wrote a play for my drama club and it's called The Golden Apple. This is my telescope and it's really, really cool. I love to play basketball with my neighbors and my brother. Oh, Kate, nice Bye. shot. Goodbye. Bye-bye, Kate. Hey, girls. Hey, Hi, Jamie. Jamie. Wow. The finished product. This is awesome. Thanks. Thanks. We're so excited. You guys have been busy. All right, I'll grab the cinder block. You guys grab the platform. All right. All right, guys, ready? Well, it looks like it's floating to me. Anybody want to put the ramp down? Sure. Right. Let's hope it floats. Uh, let's ignore the floating part. Let's hope we don't sink. <laughs> hey, not bad. That's perfect. I have to admit, when you first said you're going to put logs and rocks and stuff on, I'm like, I don't know what that'll look like, but it's it looks really natural. You All guys right. ready? Yep. All right, there it goes. Let's just push this thing out a little bit. We have one painted turtle. Yes, no turtle! Turtles don't like this area. One painted turtle. One painted turtle. Where is he? Oh, snapping turtle. We got a snapper, guys! <laughs> snappers, I don't like snappers. Yeah, it's always good to have somebody close by you oh. um, when you're handling some, like a snapping turtle if you're afraid of them. Just you know, for safety reasons. Oh. Especially if he latches on to you and you need help getting him off. So. Here, let me have a turn. Okay, put your hands right right on the, underneath there, okay? Okay, three, two, three. You can do it. Okay. <laughs> I'm holding a snapping turtle! <laughs> I'm surprised that I'd ever do this. <laughs> I am holding a snapping turtle! Woo! Watch your fingers. Oh, yeah, it's really heavy. 21 centimeters. The turtles that we caught varied in size, weight, Oh my goodness, you are fat. Age, um, species. This is working. There's a turtle right there. He's on the log. This is great. They're acclimating rather quickly. The main factor was that they were all um, female. And now we have enough data to present to our school. How awesome is that? Woo! Get started on that project. Oh yeah. Woo! We caught a lot of painted turtles and one snapper. So this is the weight in kilograms. Um, 0 0.5, 0 0.3. This turtle apparently stayed right there, too. I think the turtles really like this log. Yeah. I think they like that spot the best because it's the highest out of the water. We're finally getting enough data to make a conclusion. Most of the turtles are preferring the log. Uh, this is great. This is an awesome presentation for the school. The turtle habitat at Weaver Dunes, carapace in the plastron, and the pilot population study at Dodge Nature Center information. We also got the construction and the ramp and the basking platform information on this side. All right, guys, let's take our presentation to Trinity. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm nervous. No. Ah. It's a lot easier to present to kids because you speak the lingo of kids, but with adults, you got to kind of speak the adult lingo. Hi. Hi. Welcome yeah. to our presentation. Thank you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Drum roll, please. All right. Okay. Hello. Wow. Nice. So, okay. Kate, take it away with Habitat. <laughs> If we don't do this right, by looking at the eggs, we probably won't get to build the basking platform. Uh, we built the basking platform mainly of wood. Is there a way to keep the logs and just connect the logs together without the platform? Since we have gotten all our data from this type of platform, we don't even know if that kind of platform would work. There's only one turtle that was on the platform at all. Yeah. The rocks fell off. They didn't need the rocks. I think it'd be much more doable if we just did Logs. We are definitely open oh, yeah. to making modifications for our platform. 
The proposal talks about the three things that we'd like to do at the Trinity Ponds. There's the basking platform, the population study, and like looking at the habitat around Trinity School. So we're hoping that you guys take this to the city so that we can get permission to work on the ponds here. Thank you very much for listening to our presentation. We hope you have enjoyed it. Great job, girls. Yeah, <laughs> thank good you job. So much. I want to thank you for all the hard work you put in. What we'll do is take your proposal to the city. Woo! High five, everybody. <laughs> So pumped. I hope we can get this approved as soon as possible. We were all so happy after all this work. The project was kind of like my little baby, you know. We did it. Woohoo! We learned so much. It was so we much did. fun. Oh, we did so much. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. For old time's sake, let's do the wetland get stuck dance. Kick we out your foot. Kick out your other foot. Water, 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 water. Get stuck. Water, 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 water. water. I'm stuck. So, I observed kids in their natural habitats, well, without the basking platforms, to figure out what they like. They like texting. And they like food. So, I reopened my club under a new name. What's that? <laughs> the Texters for Tacos Club. Give the people what they want, and they will come. <laughs> All right, girls, we're going to do some invasive species control. The invasive species crowding out all of the possible nesting spots. So we cut them and then we spray them. The reason this is important is because turtles need open sandy areas for nesting. It's hard, but I think it's definitely worth it. I, think I, oh, I got it. You guys will be he women by the end of the day. So no. just in 20 minutes, you were able to accomplish quite a bit here. Well, I think we've taken a good enough break. Let's add it again. All right, let's go. All four of us love to cook. The menu is <laughs> collard greens and peach cobbler. You guys, this is awful for you. Our goal to make them more nutritious. Is that good? So the four of us have been in the Mayday Parade every year. This year we wanted to do a cute group puppet together and we could sort of engineer it to move. I think I want a calm horse. We're trying to figure out which horse would be best scientifically to be the smoothest ride. Oh, I love the one on the ground. Funding for Sci Girls is provided by the following. The National Science Foundation, supporting education and research across all fields of science and engineering. The National Science Foundation, where discoveries begin. Math, science, and curious young minds. They're our future. That's why ExxonMobil and former astronaut Sally Ride created the Sally Ride Science Academy to help teachers inspire our students so they may become the scientists and engineers of tomorrow. Hey there! Hi! The Sci Girls website is off the hook. You can set up a profile, find new friends, create a page for your science project, watch Sci Girls videos, and have fun! So come on, be a Psy Girl on PBSKidsGo.org. See you there. Bye.